In this video, I will show you how to adjust spacing and alignment in lists in Elementor and CSS. This can be applied to both ordered and unordered or bullet lists. So this is my list in Elementor that I created. Now what I want to do is to adjust this spacing between this my list text and individual bullets, spacing on the left side, spacing between the bullets and the text, and spacing between the bullet points itself themselves. So let's see how to do that. I will select my widget and go to the advanced panel. Now, if you're using Elementor Pro and I am using Elementor Pro, you can find the custom CSS field here and we will add our CSS code here. If you are using a free version of Elementor, I will get back to this in the second part of the video and how to achieve the same result using the free version. So let's add our custom CSS code here. I will use selector. And since this is an unordered list or bullet list, I will type UL as which means unordered list. Now first I want to get rid of this margin on the left side. It's too much space for me, so this will apply uh, this effect to the whole list. So I will type in margin left and I will say 1 EM. After this, what I want to make sure is that list style position is outside and this will keep the bullets uh, basically outside of the text area. Now the next thing I want to do is add some spacing between the bullets and the text. To do this, I will type selector, unordered list, and list item. Now I will add some padding on the left side, let's say 1 EM, that's too much maybe, so maybe 0 0.6 EM, 0 0.5 EM let's say. And now the next thing I want to do is add some space between the bullet uh, lines. So between the first bullet and the second bullet, between the second bullet and the third bullet. And I will do this by adding a margin, bottom margin on the individual list items. So here I will type margin bottom and say 1 EM. Maybe that's too much, so let's put 0 0.5 EM as well. The last thing I would like to do is also to reduce this spacing between this is my list text and the first bullet. In order to do that, I have to know uh, one thing, and that is that this is my list is a paragraph. So far, we've been styling uh, our list, unordered list and list items. But in order to style this text, we will have to uh, style the paragraph of the selector. So I will type selector and P as for paragraph, and then I will give it margin bottom of 0.5 EMs. Click on update. Now this the same code applies if we are using ordered list or numbered list. So let's see what happens if I go to my content tab and I switch from bullet or unordered list to ordered or numbered list. So I will select my text and go to numbered list here. As you can see our styling does not apply yet. But we will simply fix this by going to the advanced panel, custom CSS, and we will just retype instead of unordered list, we will use ordered list. And the same code will apply here, as you can see. Now, if you're using a free version of Elementor, you will not have this custom CSS field here. So in order to apply this CSS code, we will have to use a plugin. Uh, let's see how to do that. So first I will just delete this code. In order to use CSS plugin, I will first assign a class to my list or to my text. So go to the advanced panel and type in a name for your class. It can be anything. I will call my class, let's say my list, and I will remember this name. Click on update. Now go back to your CSS. I'm using simple custom CSS and JavaScript plugin. You can find the link in the description of this video. And I will copy my code and use the same lines of code here that we used previously. The only difference will be that I won't be using selector, but I will be using my class name. So my class name was my list, and it was a ordered list uh, because we changed it. So I will apply margin left, which will be 1 EM. 
then list style position I want to set to outside just to make sure then my list ordered list list item padding on the left side between the bullet and the text will be 0.5 ems margin bottom which means the spacing between the bullet points will be 1 em and last thing is that i want to apply bottom margin to my list title or paragraph so let's click on update and refresh our page and there you go the styling has applied properly even if you're using a free version i hope you enjoyed this video if you have feel free to give a like share comment or subscribe